Hello, my name is Len Schneider. Uh, I've been doing some interesting and I think really important uh, research for many years uh, in music. And I had a really amazing discovery about eight years ago or so. Uh, I discovered a very interesting performer and musician, um, very amazing person. Teresa Vaughan I wrote several books about her and um, you can see it on my webpage there's a lot of information about it and there's links where you can actually look through the book on eBay and other places it's very interesting and um, Teresa Vaughan uh, started playing music in the 1880s you know talking about the days of Jesse James and Billy the Kid because that was the Wild West. She was in the very civilized East, but it was, it was very beautiful stuff that was happening. And um, I discovered a lot about the kind of music she played and why it's so important. She really uh, paved the way, took us from the minstrel era right up to Rodgers and Hammerstein. Direct straight line of evolution. It's amazing. She's very important because she added something that was missing that led to Rodgers and Hammerstein. She added good humor and uh, love and poetry and romance. Very dreamy, really amazing. And, and I'm going to try to demonstrate a little bit for you uh, what a Buck B. Banjo was like. This is an exact replica that I'm, I'm building these. Uh, this is silver plated. The originals were nickel, but we stayed away from nickel because of the allergies. And the interior is bent uh, uh, maple, which is like exactly the way it was in the old days. The old days were before 1900. After 1900, forget about it, all the banjos, even the most expensive ones, had heavy plywood rims because it was easier to make than to bend wood. In mass production, you know, this is this would be impossible in mass production. It was very difficult. Anyhow, it, it, uh, we're making another one right now. It's gold plate. It's really nice, but just it, they they sound amazingly just like the original. I was lucky to discover a couple of original bookies, and it's a very it's an amazing instrument. It's very lightweight. The neck is very light and. and strong enough, just strong enough to do the job. Uh, the, the fingerboard is it, like as thick as a business card. It, I mean, it's, it's like a racing car. You know, it's, it's amazing. But it's, uh, violin makers and players will tell you that if the neck is light, it, the, the instrument sounds better. Okay, now, I'm, I'm going to play three, a little bit of each, uh, three songs, a little bit of each one. It's going to show you the entire, um, really straight line of evolution. I'll start off with something that Teresa might have played when she was first playing in the 1880s. You know, there were songs like uh, things Appalachian and minstrel kind of music. Like I'll play a common one that you probably, you know, Oh Susanna, for example. And this is what it would have sounded like, maybe the way she might have played it. She probably wasn't a heavy-handed foot stomper. She was kind of very cultivated, and uh, I'll. At times, I'll try to show you a little bit of what I mean, kind of more light, very light, lighter touch. You know, you can do, you can get into all kinds of different ways. And then, then another thing I'm going to show in the, in the next video, it's going to be what I call the four-dimensional idea, which is kind of an outgrowth of what I'm going to do right now. Four-dimensional idea, try to show you, you get a new kind of music almost if you connect the best of the past in four dimension time, you know. If you go the best of the past with really the best of the present, you get a very interesting, especially if they're connected, like entangled, like in quantum theory, you know. Uh, so the music, what I call four dimensional music, I'll, I'll be playing the banjo the way Teresa might have played it if she was playing a song from Rodgers and Hammerstein, which is so closely connected, that's a big discovery. It is such a close connection. It's so easy to transition. But I'm going to show you that in the next video. But this one, I'm just going to show you the, the, the evolution thing first. Then come four dimensions. How's that?
This is like my version of string theory. This is the bug beat. It's got a ring to it. songs like that into songs like this, which is almost the same, but more on the road to more romance, you know, like this. A winning way, a pleasant smile, dressed so neat, but quite in style. song, we're going to jump way to the, you know, World War II and um, Roger and Hammerstein, which is incredible art, you know, it's a direct development from Teresa because she was the biggest star by far on Broadway when Oscar Hammerstein II was born right there in the same town. And Teresa performed 
some of the theaters that Oscar Hammerstein the first had built, gigantic theaters. So everybody knew everybody there. You know, it's all the same business. Showbiz. Now, one almost every song Roger Hammerstein does, amazingly, uh, is completely compatible with at least the old time banjo, which is quite different from the modern way it's tuned, way it's played, everything different. But it's perfectly interconnected because this goes right back to the roots of where it all came from, you know, the minstrel, basically. Anyhow, and Teresa was really a troubadour, you know. But anyhow, this song um, is a really nice one. It's And it's really joyful. It has the sunshine that Teresa... That was, that's, when you go on my website, you'll see a whole big thing, what they said about her, about the way she was put sunshine in the world, which is a pretty amazing thing. Um, anyhow, the song I want to do now is, is uh, when, you drive, when you're driving through the moonlight on a highway, in like the carriage, you know, the horse and buggy. And, and it's from Cinderella. And I'll try to, I'll just show to play it, nothing special. I'll just, just do it, just show you what, it, what it's like. But in the next video, I'm going to try to just play it and, and put some words over it, like like a poem, or and and because I can focus on uh, playing and singing or speaking, uh, put more attention on each. You know, it's, it's hard to explain, but you, you probably know what I mean. But anyhow, so he is just straightforward Cinderella. Thank you. 